Welcome to Sports School. I'm Mark Verstegen. This is the final segment of our three-part golf training series. In segments one and two, we focus on optimizing your golf-specific warm-up and power. Now we're going to focus on the concept of regeneration. This act of rest will prove to be very beneficial for players at every level. In golf training three, you'll need a foam roll and a piece of rope. Our foam roll routine is like a massage. It uses deep compression to help roll out the muscle spasms that develop from the grind of golf training. Part two focuses on your general flexibility and range of motion. And finally, we'll teach you a stretching routine unlike any other. And don't forget that here in Sports School, you can use your remote to stop, pause, rewind, or fast forward any of the training techniques that we're demonstrating. This means you are in total control. You can learn at your own pace. It's a great honor to have Ches Reavy, three-time All-American and now professional golfer, join us for this recovery and regeneration session. Ches, it's great to have you. Thanks for having me. We're going to focus on some flexibility and some self-massage. And one of the best self-massage tools you can find is this foam roll. You'll find it at local sporting goods stores or more information at sportschool.com. What this self-massage will do is work out those tight knots and spasms in your body from practicing the game of golf or just going out and walking that hilly course. So Ches, let's go ahead and show them some very simple things to do with the foam roll. Is this something that you found beneficial in your game? Oh yes, definitely. It, it, it hurts at times when you're really tight, but it, it really feels good after you're done. Good. And that's one of those things, the quality of your muscle, if it feels a little painful, a little tight, that's okay. It's gonna feel that way the first time or two, but as you start to do this foam roll, those spasms will go away and you will feel great. You have to invest in your tissue. If you ignore it, like anything else in life, it's gonna go ahead and bark at you. If you start to work with it a little bit, that tissue is gonna let go and you'll be ready to go for your next round. All right, Chess, let's go ahead and start down at the calves. This is where an area that really gets tight from those hilly courses walking. Chess is gonna support his weight with his shoulders and we're just gonna rock back and forth on this foam roll. Now I want you to roll from between your ankle to your knee, and you're just gonna work back and forth. Now on this, you can go ahead and focus on a specific number of sets or reps, but I really want you to focus on finding maybe some small little spasms, and if you find it, just roll over them back and forth, or just hold that for about 30 seconds, and that spasm will just gradually release, and you've improved the quality of your tissue just like that. Now Chez, after we've gone through the calves, we can start to work up into the hamstrings. Now those hamstrings, again, those get tight, so we're just gonna massage them back and forth. And if any time we keep both legs on the foam roll, you have lower pressure. If Ches wants to get really serious here, he can cross his right over his left leg, and that will double the pressure and get deeper into that tissue. The better your muscle has that tissue quality, the better the massage you're gonna get with the deeper tissue and stacking the legs. Excellent, you feeling that? Yeah. Yeah, excellent. Now, Chez is gonna do is work into those glutes. They're really responsible for getting you up and down the hills in the course and always in that address. So we need to make sure we take care of those. The glutes act as a big shock absorber to that low back and we need to protect that so we can enjoy the game of golf throughout your career. Good, now Chez, here's a little secret. You can take this left leg and cross it over your right. Now what that'll do, doesn't just make him more relaxed. He's gonna roll toward his left glute and this is gonna allow him to get a little deeper in that hip. Do you feel that? Oh, yeah. And that is the one that really fires a lot to help every step and with every swing. So you're gonna find a little spasm just above your hip joint and slightly behind it. Yeah? <laughs> Might be a little knot. <laughs> Excellent, so if you find that knot, just work a little bit or just hold and pause and that spasm will release. Okay, now we're gonna go into this IT band. Let's go ahead and put that leg back down. We're gonna take and roll right over on your side this way. So Chez is gonna put that right just below his hip. He's gonna take the top leg over, and this leg's really important. If I needed Chez to lift his whole body weight off the ground, he could do that here. That'll take less pressure. If I want Chez to get a little bit more pressure on this IT band, he'll start just below the hip and work right down the side of his thigh. Now this one will be painful at first. That IT band is really just a long strip which causes some tension in that knee and a lot of times gives you knee pain in golf and the game of life. 
So Chaz, go ahead and put that foot down and just support your weight and just rock back and forth. Now as you get better at this, you can also stack both legs, but you're gonna have to be pretty brave to do that, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Excellent. Now what we'll do is we're gonna roll over and we're gonna start to massage the muscles of the quads. Nose really gets sore as well from a lot of that walking and practicing. Just let's go ahead and focus on that leg right there. Now at any time, go ahead and hit pause, work through this, and then go ahead and rejoin us. But we're gonna focus now working from the top of your knee right up to your hip. So we'll go a few reps there, Chess. Good. Now notice Chess has his arms down. He's just gonna pull himself up and back. You're gonna find little trigger points or little spasms that you can work out by just kind of shrinking down that roll window until that muscle releases. You feeling that? Yeah. Good. Excellent. Now from here, Chess, I'm gonna have you go up and massage just the front of your shin. So just go ahead and tuck your knees right up and I'm gonna have you just sit up and come right up vertical. There it is. Now Chess can go ahead and just roll forward and roll back. You feeling that? Mm -hmm. Golf involves a lot of walking. The muscles right in the front of the shin are really important to keep loose. You can even then, Chess, roll that foot in and kind of get the side of that calf. And that too, from all the balance that your foot has to do each swing and each step is really important. Good. Now, Chez, let's go ahead and go into your growing. So I'm gonna have you get into more of a, kind of a military crawl stance here. Get this back leg straight. We'll get this foam roll to just rotate up, just like that. We'll bend the leg. We'll work it from inside the knee, right up to the groin, then right on back. You feel that? <laughs> <laughs> again, just need to work and take care of your tissue. Okay, now again, do this for the number of repetitions till the muscle releases. Chez, let's go ahead and roll over now and finish up with this back. We'll now have Chez put that right in his low back. He's gonna keep his tummy tight. He's gonna support his weight with his legs. He's gonna support his head with his hands. He's just gonna roll back and forth, all the way up through his shoulder blades. Good, and then all the way back down, keeping the tummy tight, and then right up through his shoulder blades. Now one thing that'll help Chez is take your feet a little farther away, good. And then bring those hands together, the elbows together right here. And that's really gonna slide the shoulder blades apart and the spasms you get in your upper back, this will make it go away right away. Good, you feeling that? Mm -hmm. Excellent. So this is one of the great things, just to roll back and forth, work up and down the spine. And that'll really help keep those muscles of the back fresh and recovered so you can enjoy your next round of golf. This is the foam roll routine. Go ahead and find where things are tight and just spend a little extra time and you'll definitely feel the benefits the next time you go out and hit the legs. Chez is going to continue to help us through some of this flexibility aspect of regeneration. Chez, let's go ahead and start off with our quadruped growing stretch. Chez is going to get in here, and we know within the hip capsule within our address, if I'm really tight through here, I can never get my pelvis in the right position for a nice address. If I don't have a good address, my swing is already compromised. So we're going to have Chez take those knees really wide. The pad works great. He's going to keep that tummy tight. He's not going to be too high in his pelvis this way or drop down like an old horse, but right in between. Now I want you to really focus on this angle right now. Chez is gonna sit those hips back, just like that, and I wanna make sure it stays straight. If you start to see his hips drop underneath, that's not getting what we need. So you really have to fight and hold in that great address position, sitting the hips back, and you're gonna feel that really up in your hip capsule, maybe even the front of your hips. Do you feel that? Mm -hmm. Good, it's a pretty good stretch, isn't it? Oh, very good. And that's really important for our golfers, whether you're recreational or elite, these hip capsules really take a lot of stress with the swing, but they're critical to help protecting your spine as well. So we'll do that between five and 10 repetitions. And make sure as you go back, you exhale, hold it for about a count and a half, and then come right back up. So use your VOD to go ahead and practice that technique. Give me five to 10 great reps. Our next one is gonna go into that quad hip flexor stretch. And the reason this one is so important is we spend so much time over the ball that these muscles in the front get very tight, as well as walking those heely courses. So Chez is gonna go on his side, he's gonna tuck that bottom leg up and hold it with his left arm, then he's gonna grab his ankle, and then he's gonna bring that foot back, and then he's gonna really try to fire that glute so that he can stretch out this quad in the hip flexor. He'll exhale, and then bring it back, and then drop that leg back again. Fire the glute, feeling that deep stretch, Chez? Oh yeah, Excellent. it's huge stretch all the way through the leg. Good. And that's why we want to exhale and really try to let that tension go. Now we need to make sure to do this between five and 10 times on the right side. Go ahead and use your rewind on your VOD. 
get to your left side, and then come back. You may need to go up to two sets here if you feel real tight, but you may need to, huh, Jess? Oh, yeah, I need to, definitely. <laughs> well, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna progress on. If you need it, you can go ahead and take the time to do that. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do is a bent knee hamstring. And the reason that's important is if our hamstrings back and the back part of our leg are really tight, it pulls your pelvis underneath and it doesn't allow us to get in a good address position. And you'll see that a lot, even on the professional tour. We need to be able to help free up this hamstring as we lengthen it up, our pelvis can get in a little better position and now I have a better looking address and a better situation for success to the rest of your swing. So Chez will take this off leg down, push down on the ground. He'll take his closest leg. He's gonna really tuck that right up toward his chest. Now notice that he's holding this with his arms here. The rest of the work is gonna be done by firing the muscle that we just stretched, that quad. So go ahead and try to extend that leg, Chez. And then exhale, good, and then drop back down. Good, up and exhale, and drop back down. Notice that really nice exhale. Makes a big difference, yeah? Definitely, you can definitely stretch it a little more after you've exhaled. Good, and what we're trying to do here is reprogram your computer, and we'll do that by going five to 10 repetitions on the left side. Go ahead and rewind your VOD. We'll do the same thing on your right, and if you need to get two sets of this, it might be highly recommended, yeah? <laughs> or three. Yeah, or three in some cases. <laughs> so this is our supine hamstring, bent leg hamstring stretch. Those three activities right there will help keep this pelvis freed up, help reduce your injury potential, and optimize your dress for a great swing. Chez and I are gonna show you next how to utilize a rope to maximize your flexibility routine. This is just a very simple rope. You can also use a towel. This rope can be found at your local sporting goods store or find more information at sportschool.com. Chez and I are gonna focus right now on the inside and the outside part of your hip, which is often overlooked by golfers. Chez, let's go ahead and get right down on the floor. Now the first thing to utilize in the rope, I like to make sure that it's right in half so it's even. Chez is gonna go ahead and we're gonna lasso this foot. So Chez, go ahead and elevate your foot up. He's gonna take that foot, put it right around the ball of the foot, and we're just gonna wrap it around so we have a good firm hold right on the ball of the foot. So what that looks like, is gonna come right into there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch the inside part of Chez's thigh. So we're gonna take the rope right around the inside part of his ankle. So for the inside, we'll take it on the inside. We'll hold that same side arm. Now this leg's gonna come up. Chez will just keep it right here. Chez is just gonna sweep the leg straight out until he feels the stretch. Now Chez, make sure to keep that toe straight up toward the ceiling. Okay. There you go, try that again. Perfect. Now that's really important so you feel the stretch in the inside part of the thigh. If Chez rolls his foot this way, you're gonna feel it in the hamstring. We've already done that, so we're gonna keep that toe straight up. So let's go a few more reps. Pulls it up, he exhales. Whew, let the tension go. And we'll do that between five and 10 repetitions. If it feels tight after you're done, just come back and do another set. Excellent, you feeling that? Oh yeah, big time. Good, really important to keep that hip moving, okay? Go ahead and hit pause after you've done five to 10 repetitions here. Do your other side and then join us for the next stretch. The next one we're gonna focus on is stretching the muscles of this outer hip, which really take a lot of force as you decelerate your swing to maximize that club head speed. So now we'll take that rope. If we wanna stretch the outside of the hip, we'll take the rope to the outside part of the ankle and we're gonna bring it across your body. Chez is gonna put this arm up at 90 degrees and we're simply gonna keep this toe up again, and he's gonna fire the muscles on the inside part of his thigh, bring it across his body just about that far. He'll sweep it back in, and we'll come again. So Chez really wants to get a nice pull, and you're feeling that stretch right through your glute in this long fascial band. Good. And listen, those things really get a lot of stress and work. It's not just in the swing, but the great thing about golf is walking those beautiful courses, but it also takes a toll on this lower leg right up into all these hip stabilizers. Excellent, feeling that? Oh yeah, very, Good. very tight. Now, this is one of those things you can keep right there in your golf bag, use either before or after, but it's definitely something you need to incorporate into your routine. Chez, let's go ahead and finish these guys up with a little shoulder and a little trunk rotation stretch. We'll start off by going right down on your pad. Chez is gonna make sure to pull that shoulder blade, that wing right on the back of your shoulder, pull it back, and then you're actually gonna use your weight to kind of pin that right on the ground. 
Your elbow is gonna be high, so it creates a 90 degree angle with your body. And then Chez is gonna try to reach, without using his hand, reach all the way down toward his belly button. And he's gonna feel the stretch right in the back of that shoulder, yeah? Mm -hmm. Now this left shoulder specifically, as you go down course, really takes a lot of stress. So Chez is gonna start there, he's gonna reach down as far as he can, then exhale and help with just two fingers, just about 15%. Assist the stretch and come back up. Now we're gonna do that between five and 10 repetitions, holding it for a count and a half at the bottom while we exhale. Just making sure his face isn't grimacing too much. Good, excellent. After you've got to those five to 10 reps on that left side, go ahead and hit pause, roll over to your right side, and then it'll just rejoin us right after that. Feeling that back there? Good, all right, let's go ahead and sit up next. All right, the next one we're gonna do is very simple which is a seated trunk rotation stretch. Just gonna have Chez take his left leg over his right so that his foot hits right around his knee. He's then gonna sit very tall through his spine. This is very important. I don't want your spine caved over. Sit tall, then he'll take his elbow outside his knee. He's gonna fire the muscles of his own back before he uses the arm. As maximally you can reach, then help with the arm. Whew. Exhale for a count and a half, and then relax and come back. So rotate as far as you can, exhale, and then come back. Anywhere between five and 10 repetitions. Notice the great stretch that Chez gets right up through the back and through the torso. Same thing's gonna happen on the front side. And again, five to 10 repetitions on the left, five to 10 repetitions on the right. Now with the game of golf, it's a phenomenal game, but it is a one-sided sport. So it's critical throughout this training for golf that we really try to keep the body even so your body remains healthy so you can play more golf. Chez and I are now gonna show you a great shoulder and tricep stretch followed by a forearm stretch. For the first stretch, we're gonna utilize your club. Chez is gonna go ahead and just turn around here. It's gonna reach above his head, grab the club as if you were taking your hand on the back of your head, and then it'll take the other arm to where your palm is out or the back of your hand is right to the low back. Now what Chez is gonna do is he's gonna try to reach this top hand down his spine as far as he can, and when he can't reach any further, he's gonna exhale and help it down with this opposite hand. Now we're gonna return the favor, because we like to do that in golf. He's gonna elevate this hand as high as he can without using the club, and then he's gonna assist and exhale. Excellent job, Chez, right there. And that is one repetition. We'll do that for five to 10 repetitions. Good, Chez, reach down, exhale. Feel that great stretch right through here. And now he's gonna reach this hand up as far as he can, then assist the stretch up here. Excellent. Chez, let's go ahead and show that from the front. Good. Okay, pulling it down, doing a great stretch, that tricep right through that lat. And then as he starts to raise this bottom hand up, he's gonna feel a great stretch and this down shoulder. Chez, great job. That'll really help keep those shoulders and triceps free so you can decrease that potential for injury in your swing. Now the last part we're gonna focus on here is into these forearms. If we grip that club a lot, our hands start to curl up a little bit, our thumbs will rotate in, and that's just a natural part of using the game, or using your grip in the game of golf. So one of the easiest forearm stretches is just to reach out, really try to open that up by firing the muscles in the back of your arm, reaching the fingers to your forearm, then exhale, and then bring it back up and repeat that again. You'll do that five to 10 repetitions on each side, switch sides, and if you feel that really tight, Go ahead and do another set on each side, okay? Those are two very simple exercises to help keep your shoulders healthy and to minimize the potential for that wrist and that elbow pain so you can play a lot more golf. Regeneration is essential to recovery from your training, from the hours on the range, and when you play. A combination of active and passive recoveries maximize your total golf training routine. So stick with it, because you'll see the results in your scorecard.